Hello everyone. So recently we have released a new feature which is eway bill automation, eway bill integration to be exact. So uh, earlier you used to go ahead and create the json file which was a very long process and then after you needed to upload it on eway bill portal in order to generate eway bill. But now we have brought up this feature on uh, transact itself. So I will show you how you can use this feature and what are the basic checks which you need to maintain for better eWebbill experience. So first of all, let us go to our settings module. On your left hand side in the very bottom, you will see settings module option. Please click on this. Now, once you will come in settings module, uh, here in the very bottom, you will see GST API setting. Click on this. Now, your eWebbill API account and e-invoice API account, both you can manage from GST API setting. You can click on this click here option and a PDF will get opened through which you can go ahead and do the registration for API. After registering, you need to fill the details on transact. So on your right hand side, you will see add eWay bill API account. Click on this. Here, you can go ahead and fill your GSTIN API username and API password. After validate, it will get activated. Now, what are the basic checks which you need to follow? So the very first check is around the store. As because uh, there are multiple eway bill which are created from uh, bill to and ship to address. So in that case, a store plays a very important role as because whenever you create a store, in order to go ahead and create a successful eway bill, you need to fill all the details in your store. Like suppose this is my main stock store. So in this, you need to go ahead and fill the required detail like the GSTIN, address 1, address 2, city, state, pin so that while creating the eway bill it will not give you any error now what is the second check which you need to follow that is of the unit of measurement so as because unit of measurement is a very important part in eway bill or in invoice so whenever you are creating any unit of measurement so we have provided a feature of eway bill uom so you can map that unit of measurement with eway bill uom so that while creating invoice or while creating eway bill you will not get error and system will automatically flow the eway bill uom in eway bill now uh, if i go ahead and click on add unit of measurement please check here you will get all the eway bill uom which you can select so these are the two major checks which you need to uh, maintain or which you need to follow so that you will not get any error while generating eway bill now let us go to our transaction module and show you how you can create a eway bill so once I will come in transaction module, this is my entire transaction list. So in this, I have already created a eway bill transaction OCE for OCE eway bill on which I will show you. So let me open this transaction. Now OCE is created. I need to create an invoice or I can create a delivery chalan as well on which I uh, eway bill can be created. So on your right hand side, you will see create document option. Click on this and I will select tax invoice. Now, all the details are coming from my OC. Now, you can very well go ahead and make the changes as per your requirement. Payment date is here. I will just mention the payment date. Transporter name and remaining details is coming as because uh, it have been fetched from my uh, settings. I have turned it on. So what I will do, I will just go ahead and fill the transporter name. Then after uh, remaining detail, I will just uh, leave. Going below, uh, here are the two items on which I will go ahead and fill the detail. Now. So I simply went ahead and entered uh, the quantity and I just removed one of the HSM. So uh, I will show you exactly how error will come to you. Now going below, I will select save and send. Now once I will select save and send, please check. It will give you an error that HSN code is missing, tax rate is missing. Also, you may not be able to create an eBay bill because the below reasons HSN code is missing in the item ID. So what I will do, I will click on no and I will simply just go ahead and fill the HSN code and I will select the tax as 18%. Now, once I selected 18%, after that, I simply went ahead and clicked on save and send. Click on yes. Now my tax invoice is created. After creating the tax invoice, what I will do, I will go ahead and create the eBay bill. So let it get uh, created. Now, please check the tax invoice is created. Now on your right hand side, you will see other action. You need to go in this. Earlier, you were getting the option to fill eBay bill detail here. Now we have changed that and you will get generate eBay bill option. Click on this. Now it will ask, is it for the part A for part B? So you can create any individual, uh, either part A, part B or both as well. So 
just select the required details so i will select supply going below the transporter name transporter id is provided distance is not auto calculated as because this was the dummy address which i entered in the invoice once you will go ahead and enter the actual address it will come in the distance it will be auto calculated now i entered the distance manually and i clicked on generate now please check once i clicked on generate have a look my part a eway bill is created i got the eway bill number eway bill date generated by each and every detail is coming here part b is missing so very well uh, your transporter must have been notified about that your transporter can go ahead and fill the detail now on your right hand side in very top you will get other action click on this here you will see option of print you can use refresh detail if you have made any changes in this eway bill on eway bill portal so accordingly it will get updated and cancel option also the update part b option is there uh, but up, uh, once as because in the eway bill this particular feature have been removed by the government so whenever uh, you whenever part b is required to be created so your transporter get all the details and accordingly they can go ahead and update it now this was all around eway bill now once your eway bill is generated you can go back and on invoice uh once you will refresh you can see that the eway bill number is coming so this is how you can create a eway bill directly on transact and accordingly it will get displayed on your invoice i hope this video will be helpful to you with our new feature and i do hope that this will save a lot of your time which you were doing earlier by generating the json file have a good day